if you're an Adobe Lightroom user looking to move elsewhere, then there are two ways of proceeding after the divorce. Firstly, you can switch to a similar combination asset management slash raw editor, such as Lightroom alike on one photo raw. Alternatively, you can split the duties and use one app for asset management and an entirely different app for the raw editing. The advantage of that second option is it offers a great deal of flexibility because you can easily switch editors if the mood takes you. Xire, however, hopes you'll choose their software for handling the asset management side of things. They just rolled out a big update with claimed improvements to AI search capabilities, and I've been putting it through its paces. Is this the app that Lightroom refugees have been searching for? Let's man the life graphs and find out. If you just want the bullet points, here's the TLDR. XR 2025 has greatly improved conversational AI search facility and is a fast and full-featured asset manager. The new AI claim feature, along with the heavy emphasis on people and portrait tools, positions XI as a professional studio, lifestyle, or wedding photographer's app. So if you're a hobbyist, and particularly if you rarely photograph people, the main selling point of XI would be its AI-powered search. Okay, that's the lowdown. Now let's get into the nuts and bolts. For reference, I was not given a serial for this app. I downloaded the fully functional trial version and tested that. If you like simple interfaces with a heavy emphasis on functionality, then you're in luck. Because XI's front end looks like it was designed in AutoCAD. I'm not suggesting there's anything particularly wrong about sterile and functional interfaces, but there's been absolutely no effort to pretty this app up in any way. The buttons are all a stark and simple black and white icons lifted from under the free icon libraries, and expense has been spared in the main window too, with the plainest looking interface since VisiCalc. It could be argued that the professionals XI 2025 is aimed at couldn't give a shit what the interface looks like, and if there were any focus groups, perhaps that's the feedback they received. It could also be argued that all the effort they saved making the app look good was worth it, because it really flies. I indexed my entire main photo drive, 160,000 photos in all, and I can drag the scroll bar to any point in that 160,000 photo library, and the tiled thumbnails appear near instantly, performing the same test in my Lightroom Classic library, and it's anywhere between 5 and 30 seconds before the thumbnails have rendered in. I often find myself clicking to my browser and watching YouTube videos while I'm waiting for Lightroom to catch up. There are absolutely no such weights with Xire. The utilitarian interface is reflected in the overall design aesthetic with navigation, folders, timelines, save searches, and culling on the left, filtering above the thumbnails in the center, and search and file information on the right. It's the sort of app you could probably get to grips within 10 minutes and never have to trouble the manual. Conversational search is a game changer for photographers, but it's only available in a couple of apps. When I tested the last version of this text prompt search in XR 2024, I found it to be lacking, giving me too many false positives. And I'm pleased to report that it's much improved in this latest major release, comparable, if not better, than the one in Mac-only Pig2 by Syme. I found the searches were fast and accurate, and with a flexible tolerance setting that enables you to return the maximum number of results or a more precise subset. Being able to dial up or down the tolerances of those searches on a scale from 1 to 100 meant it was easier to dial in an appropriate number of search returns as opposed to peak two where you either get a precise but small number of returns or everything in the kitchen sink. Conversational search 
is an incredible way of creating unique collections within your photographic portfolio. And it's one of the strongest use cases for AI in photography. Adding relevant keywords to photographs is another great way of classifying and searching within a large number of shots. The previous version of XI had an AI keyword tool and it has also allegedly been upgraded in this latest release. After checking the keywords it automatically generated for all of my photographs, I must reveal that it is unfortunately still totally useless. The keywords it generates are vague and so limited that you really have to wonder why they bothered implementing this tool at all. By way of example, here's what XI 2025 came up with for this photograph. Nature. That's it. Not aerial, drone, beach, town, river, golf course, boats, just nature. How about this photo? What would you say the most obvious element of this photograph was? If you guessed donkey, you'd be wrong. I'm a landscape photographer, so there isn't an abundance of portrait photographs in my collection, but I did put this to the test too. You can, in fact, search by face or person separately, which means you can find specific people, or just compile a generic collection classified by categories such as their age or gender. I found it amusing that the gender selection tool is a slider rather than a binary choice with two tick boxes. I wondered whether this would enrage the everything I disagree with is woke crowd. Here's hoping. Both people and face tools worked well. I have no complaints about either. They were fast and accurate. Ditto the duplicates tool, which can work across your entire library or just specific selections. It can be finely tuned according to your needs and is a great way of shedding excess weight in the portfolio. The feature which best illustrates the future direction of this app is definitely AI culling tool. This is aimed squarely at professional photographers, particularly wedding and lifestyle. To use the tool, you need to annoyingly import your photos twice, once the usual way into the library and then a second time into a culling project. I found the second stage import creating that culling project to be slow. In fact, it's about 30 minutes to import a directory of 1900 photos. For time poor professional photographers, this seems an excessively long process, but I guess they could nip out and have a bite to eat while the app's doing its thing. Once the photos are imported, the app groups photographs together by people, visual similarity, capture time or sequence. You can then double click on any of those nested subgroups, view the images, flag a pick or two, and then move on to the next subgroup. The process would be a lot quicker if they'd added an auto advance option like you find it pretty much every other app. Once you've selected one of those subgroups, you can further finesse the selection by using an AI enhanced sort order. The most useful of these is probably the sharpness option, which sticks all those out of focus images at the end of the queue. Its ability to target only those photos that are nice and sharp is handy, and I found its strike rate to be excellent. The last of the big search functions is the GPS tool. This is a nicely designed feature with a simple and effective interface, but it's somewhat let down by its inability to actually geolocate all photographs. When I asked it to show me all of the photographs I'd taken within a 90 kilometer radius in the center of Sydney between 2018 and 2024, it came up with 87 shots. I double checked that result against Lightroom and I got 370 search returns. I'm not sure why there's a disparity, but both apps had access to the same GPS metadata. Flashy interfaces don't enable you to find photographs any faster than simple interfaces, so we can forgive XI's developers for creating an app so sterile it could only have been designed by someone who gets sensory overload from Google Sheets. But guys, there are colours other than grey, dark grey and steel blue. Far and away, the best feature of XI 2025 is its speed. If you've grown to hate the sluggish tempo with which Lightroom scrolls through your catalogue, then it's a real joy to use. The conversational search that enables you to use simple phrases to find photographs is excellent, accurate, fast, and extremely useful. 
The AI photo culling tool is innovative and well thought out. It's bugger all used to me as a landscape photographer, but it's obvious that it will be helpful for professional photographers shooting people or products. The AI keywording tool remains as singularly shit as ever, utterly pointless in every regard, and I reckon the GPS tool might need a little tune-up too. XR 2025 is a strong upgrade from the previous version. It's definitely one of the fastest asset managers I've ever used. If you're thinking of buying it, then do bear in mind that it is aimed at professional photographers, not hobbyists. And its new features are squarely focused on wedding, portrait, or event photography. Professionals who are currently using Photo Mechanic be well advised to download the trial because this app is every bit as fast and has the advantage of those AI search tools. At 311 Australian dollars, that's 199 US, single price, not subscription, it's not outrageously priced and would offer substantial cost savings against an Adobe subscription. It's also cross-platform with both Windows and Mac versions, which is a big advantage it has over its only real competition in the conversational AI arena, peak to by sign. At the start of this review, I asked whether this might be an app that could serve as a life raft for folks who've decided to ditch Lightroom. And while it has no editing facilities itself, I do think it could perform Lightroom's asset management duties and be used in conjunction with a good photo editor such as Affinity Photo. Pretty much all these search functions were blisteringly fast and a stark contrast to the turgid drive grinding searches in Lightroom. It could benefit from a few automatic tools such as Auto Stack and Auto Advance, but otherwise there's everything in here you need to locally manage a large collection of photographs. The ability to quickly and efficiently locate images based on conversational text is a big step up from traditional searches and has the ability to transform how you interact with and use your photos. Pair this app with a good photo editor and you'll have a rock solid and efficient platform for photo portfolio management. And that will do us for this review of XI Photo 2025. Are you still looking for an alternative to Adobe's products? Have you considered using separate asset management and editor apps? Do let me know in the comment section below. If you got value from this content, then do please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel for more photo, video and drone related content. Until the next time guys, ta-ta!